Questions about food tests always come in your IGCSE Biology Paper 6 exam. Today I'm going to show you all the details, color changes related to these food tests. Let's start with the test of reducing sugars or Benedict's test. First, it is the only test that requires a hot water bath. The temperature should be set at 80 degrees Celsius and the solution will change its color from blue into green, yellow, orange or brick red. The second test is the test of starch. The test is quite straightforward. You're going to add the iodine solution, which has the brown color. And if there's any starch present, then the color is going to turn into blue black. The third test in our list is the emulsion test. It is the test of fats or lipids. First, you're going to dissolve the sample into ethanol. Second, you're going to add water and you will mix the content. If there is any fats in the sample, then you will see a white emulsion. Emulsion. Note that the greater the concentration of fats, the thicker the white emulsion is. Test number four is the test of proteins. First, you're going to add the Bayard solution, which has a blue color. If proteins are present, then the color is going to change into purple or lilac. The higher the concentration of proteins, the more intense that purple color is. The last test is the test of vitamin C. This test is quite more important because you may get a whole six marks question related to this test. Let's assume that you've been asked to determine which juice has a higher concentration of vitamin C, lemon or orange. First, you're gonna extract juice from either fruit. Next, pour the juice onto a fixed volume of DCPIP until the color of the indicator turns from blue to colorless. The lower the volume of juice you have added, the higher the concentration of vitamin C in the juice sample. I hope that this was helpful and I wish you best of luck for your exams.